is this? Cultist, waiting for their deity to appear. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise, the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But this cult leader will take my place and attempt to become the god. He believes we can remake the world and live in a paradise of his design. Remake the world? What? I've heard those words before. There he is! I know him. That's Dr. Mingus. Behold! The instrument of our unity and salvation! Soon, our dreams of peace and safety will be realized! They already call him Kukulkan, but his real name is Amaru. He was born here, but raised, lied to, by outsiders. The people believe in him. But you don't. My late husband, Saidi, was his brother. They had differences over the future of Paititi. When Saidi died, Amaru devoted himself to the cult. You have seen the storm. You are worried about worse to come. I ensure you that Paititi will persevere and thrive forever! I know him. If Amaru is successful, all of us who disagree will never see this paradise. The rebels will be discarded. Not if they don't find the box. Yes. Our best hope is to find it first. Perhaps Amaru might still be brought to see love and reason. Death to the outsiders! Retribution will come! Hakan! Enough! We must strike while the snake is within reach. Justice will be met in good time. Do not jeopardize our rebellion for the sake of impulse. You're at the edge of the mountain. Last warning. <laughs> Follow Esley. Your clothing won't hide you long from his guards. Okay, I'll find the box. You've been warned to keep the peace. I was just out for a pleasant stroll with my son. <laughs> Amaru is losing his patience. It won't happen again. Jonah, can you answer? Yeah, me and Uchi set up camp. Everything's okay. Dominguez is here. He's the leader of the cult of Kukul Khan. That's what Unaratu's rebels are fighting. What? He's been here for years. Trinity controls Paititi. Whoa. I'm going to the Eye of the Serpent. We have to get the box before the next cataclysm hits. This describes something nearby. Seven golden birds perched here and there. One escaped to the trees with his treasure. Dropped from his talons. I'm waiting for you. This will be useful. Ah, my 
Where is my mother? She's settling matters between the guards and Hakan. What's it like outside by Didi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Paititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. Hmm. What you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? By the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. A ceremonial whistle used during human sacrifices. The sound admitted from the skull-shaped instrument has been compared to the tormented screams of the dying and the dead. Its shrill cry is said to clear a path to the underworld for the recently deceased. The death whistle has also been used as an instrument of war, its cry striking fear into the heart of the unknowing enemy. The surging population and lack of civil planning caused the settlement many problems. Farmers clear-cut jungle to use the fertile riverbanks for their crops, resulting in a devastating flood in the first heavy rains. Overhunting forced hunters to travel ever further to find game. Several groups, each vying for a controlling interest in the settlement, debated often fiercely on the best manner of solving these problems. This is a formidable weapon, heavy wood lined with sharp obsidian teeth. It could easily stop an unarmored enemy. And if the blood stains are any indication, it has. All right. I don't think anything could have prepared me for this place. The people, their history, everything they've lived and who they are today. 
to hear him tell it, Amaru, Dominguez, Kukulkan, only wants to keep Paititi safe. But I've seen the lengths he'll go to, the murder and cruelty. I have to stop him. Through there. Having not heard from Lopez, some among the leadership began to have their doubts about him. Our group dispatched south to investigate. We sent the natives in first, uncertain those in the city had not killed Lopez on his arrival. They returned with reports of how sick the city was, and we quickly formed a plan to utilize this to our advantage. This seems to represent Unuratu leading a group in rebellion. There is a near total eclipse in the background. <laughs> oh. Oh. The smell. This must be the place Etsy mentioned. Steady, Lara, steady.
great. I guess I have no choice. Is this one of the rebels? There's a way in somewhere. A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. Yes, we there. The smell keeps getting stronger. Laura, how's it going? I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? Talking tattoos with Uchu. Tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's, right? It has a heron and an eclipse on it. That might have something to do with the silver box. I don't think so. This is the only way, okay? The lone figure appears in a state of peace, as though waiting for something. Full of oil and blood. Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? Must have taken hundreds of sacrifices to get enough blood to fill these channels.
now to find the silver box. There's the little rebel prince. to ask you. I think it's a favor. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. I know. They're holding him at the barracks. We're working on a plan to release him. I tried to get him. I'm sorry. He's a warrior. What's that? This is a key. It looks like... It looks like it belonged to the mountain temple. It is adjacent to where they're holding him. Is the box of each shell connected to the barracks? Is that why the cult occupy the temple? It's heavily guarded. When we go in, it has to be sudden, silent. 
Is there a back way? Th there was one, by the salt mine, but it has deteriorated. It's treacherous. I might be able to manage it. Perhaps. You did survive the sacrificial pit. I haven't been back inside since I was a child. But from what I can remember, the barracks are within an inner stronghold. If I can get in through the back way, I can clear a path and let you in. We will free Epsley, then go find the box. I'll take care of my son. You go after the box. to Queen Unorato in the rebellion. Hey, Laura, you have a minute? Come over if you have time. Uchu has something to ask me. Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Esli's father Sairi died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father unto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the Champion's bow, and the King's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future king. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if he could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the king's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. This describes something nearby. The waters below protect me from the waters above. The Ishiki. What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go! The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but... He hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Did you hear about Kuali? No. What happened? Abra... Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. Oh 
ya huyin tan. Ya te escupan. bastard. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Little thief should be punished. Come on, get it. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki, from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, me, I'm Yami. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Raimi, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Chimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my blade! <laughs> yeah, and taste llama patties, too! We're just herbs. I beg you, a Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go, your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her or to barter for the king's more? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here, with respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you.
Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quentin that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old cistern. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. Twenty-ninth of November, 1603. After dinner, Lopez left the city. I followed, worried he might not return. I found him standing by the riverbank, lips moving as though in prayer. Not wishing to disturb him, I waited. His communion with God must have lasted through the night, and I regret to admit I fell asleep. For the next thing I knew, Lopez stood smiling serenely over me, the morning sun behind him, creating a halo. He helped me to my feet and clasped me in a strong embrace. True Elos, I know where to find the artifact, he whispered in my ear. Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. Full up. Can't carry any more. There's the entrance. During a fierce battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and, speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city, where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering caused the war.
The threat of the disease held at bay, we soon learned that Lopez had come and gone. Some of us began to suspect his betrayal, while others worried for his safety. The only course of action was to remain in the city, the reasoning twofold. We'd be ready when Lopez came to his senses and returned the artifact, or this would be the easiest point from which to mount a search for him. We struck an accord with the king. We would become his royal guard, physicians, and priests. This shows a pilgrimage from a great city. This must be Manco, leading the priestess's ancestors out of Cusco. <coughs> no one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. This could be an effigy of the peasant savior. It might have been stolen by the cult of Kukul Khan to keep the Paititians from worshipping it. Or maybe it was given to them as payment for protection. The remains of the peasant savior have been moved to an undisclosed location. We've had reports of the cult stealing objects and artifacts and holding them hostage in exchange for docility. We will not allow such a sacrilege to happen to Manco. Manco's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manco from the cult of Kukul Khan. Oh, shit, 
No. Oh, hell. This shows burial dolls, pottery, and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place. The Order turned it into a crypt. The Order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. All these bones, they sacrificed themselves to protect this place. Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Now, to get this back to Uchu. Pure silver. From what I understand, Manko was a simple farmer. This must have been made posthumously as an offering to honor him. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed off passageway, I bet. Mm-hmm. 
Mein Ruhe nicht Ah, Lara. Quinty returned a short while ago. A little worse for wear, but alive. I'm glad to see you're okay as well. That system is quite a challenge. I'm happy Quenty made it back. <sighs> but without the Savior's amulet, I'm afraid. You mean this Savior's amulet? What? Laura, you found it. That's incredible. Here. I can't thank you enough. When Zan returns with the Champion's Bowl, we will honor all of the gatherers. Including you, if you join us. I'll be there. What are we doing here? I never wanted this to happen. Now Etsley's been captured. Etsley's a strong pig. Yeah, he's a warrior. I know. I still hate this. I hope he's okay. Me too. We'll choose confident they can get him out. Jonah, I think I'm close to the mine entrance. Uchu says it's at the edge of the mountain. He sent the rebel ahead to open it. Thanks. Oh my god. This is a penguin lawn ornament. Painted and decorated and placed in a location of reverence. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but it's so incongruous. The locals wouldn't be able to identify the animal it's intended to represent, and they certainly wouldn't be familiar with the material the statue is made from. There isn't any plastic in Paititi. I'd love to talk to whoever did this and learn why, what they think this penguin is. These ceremonial ceramic jars are used to store corn beer or chicha. The bottom of these arpu are usually pointed, to aid when pouring into smaller serving containers. This describes something nearby. The youngest of four turns his back on his brothers, unable to speak as I lie in his mouth. This will be useful. Here it is.
full up. Can't carry any more. I'm in. Munuratu just left with Hakan. She'll be ready when you open the gate. <laughs> 